Chapter 4 For Pigs, The Bell Tolls I love that name, to be perfectly honest, it's just so funny Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away. Yeah, those close ears. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? It's a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe this is the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? How could you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear. And a scary tale I tell. Oh no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oink, oink, oink. That's pretty much the gimmick of the beginning of this chapter. And poor Freddy for that. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me a doer. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't a place for a telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my house. Uh, yeah, so this is Twilight Town, everyone. I actually really like the how this area looks, and especially at the beginning when there's all the pigs everywhere, because I generally like farm jokes and video games. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. We'd like, well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town is being cursed. Well, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is right, the right word, right? Yes, of course, it is. You see, beyond the sounds of forests and in the heart of the ancient building is the creepy steeple. The dark creatures who live there, it's cursed beings when the steeple bell rings. But one of the twilight others living here becomes a village, and the village becomes a pig. Gee, I wish that could happen to all the characters from the crappy Twilight series. Will my loved ones become... <laughs> Will my loved ones become a swine? Will I, too, become a early tailed winker? I'm so worried. I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty much similar here. This keeps up well. The village will be one giant pig pen, which will be bad. Let me give some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a starship rock called the Crystal Star. Uh, I don't know of any Crystal Star thing, but in creepy steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Well, are you serious? That's gotta be the Crystal Star. Gotta be. Uh, you people aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Brr, unthinkable. Okay, so we have an eerie chapter. I don't know why. I think it's about games that try to make games too dark. Like, for example, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. They generally don't really end up too dark to me. The only game I can really admit to being really freaking dark is Majora's Mask, and with that, that, let me tell you, is one dark game. But I mean, <laughs> we have freaking pigs in this. I mean, like, come on. Too bad this isn't Wind Waker, and I should have probably saved, actually. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just wanted to quickly save it really fast because I haven't saved in a little while. <laughs> oh, sounds like someone's sobbing in the shop. Oh, customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Sniff. Huh, why I'm crying? Sniff, my husband's being turned into a pig. A pig? A pig? Sniff, my husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. No, my husband came home and said that a pig returned. This pig got a fight. He got into a fight before he left, and I called him a childless pig. And he really is a pig, Sniff, but he has a sweet side too. Like, my favorite food on my birthday. I'm gonna try to get rid my score some, you know. He's got so many wonderful things, you know. I can't read all this freaking text. <laughs> Mario's asleep. Yeah. So, um, are you even listening? <laughs> So hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. I'll even give you anything to restore me, you know? Okay then. 
Now, anyways. Nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what someone said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town's gate. Isn't that kind of cliche? You gotta be kidding me, fine though. Go ask. Jeez. I admittedly love this game's writing. It's so friggin' witty, and it makes fun of so many other cliches from the series. Well, the bell rang murder doesn't mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched. It wasn't my turn to get pigged. As I was saying, I just love this game's witty dialogue. It makes so much... It makes fun of so many great cliches that... Just make it kind of a really funny. Cop, cop, cop. You can make those crows like all weird. The crows, thankfully, in this game are harmless, and I like that a lot. Uh oh. Well, this ain't good. Don't you think this pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Blink, blink, blink. Not good. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Another bell is tolled. And... Thankfully, it just so happened to be this guy! Whoa, the gate guy's gone! Oops, no, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig! Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get in our way. So, we basically gave ourselves free permission to go through. But... Um, actually, I'm gonna do what's, what is, like, pretty much meant here, uh, in there we can actually find the black key, which I'm sure you can guess what that means, so we're gonna be getting another new power-up. We have a couple new enemies that are be coming up, I don't know if I'm gonna fight these guys, because I believe that they are, sp some of them are spiked, but first we have some friggin' new types of Goombas here, and <clears throat> as you can see, it's gonna be good that I'm able to do even more damage than what it was previously. Uh, these guys got a bit of a boost from the original Paper Mario game, if I'm not mistaken, because of their... They have 8 HP, whereas in the <clears throat> first game they had only 7, but then again they were a Chapter 3 enemy in the original, and now they're, like, a lot more of an enemy. That is noobish. That is just noobish. You stupid game, seriously? <laughs> It better not seriously be thinking of doing a charge tactic, because it definitely seems like it would. Yup, charge, don't stay invisible. Thank you, did not stay invisible. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. Yeah, my, I, still have, I still kind of have a cough, but my cold is pretty much over. And as if I need any more money at this point. And... Oh, okay, well, you got a repel cape, and that is a ton of money, seriously. Um, I believe this is a nice, a pretty nice item here. Or a coin. Okay, well, I'm gonna be using Yoshi to speed past these guys. Um, and as you can see here, there was another pig, piggy. Horrink. And over here, there was another key. You got a shop key. So now we have two keys. A key? Why do I keep on referencing that? Or like spoofing Nintendo Capri Sons a B. That's pretty much what I'm... I, I definitely have been spoofing that, honestly. I don't know why, because... Really, I don't, I don't know why. That one's pretty close. I'm surprised it isn't falling. Nah. This isn't that other really dark game that I mentioned earlier on. God, I love Majora's Mask. Oh yeah, it's the item shop that we wanted to go to now. Believe it or not, you're gonna get sick of this chapter really fast. But for the beginning of it, it's pretty fine. Anyways, let's use a shop key on this store. And wait, hold on, I shouldn't be this damn greedy here. Hold on, I'll, I'll speak to the friggin' shopkeeper here. You open the store, let's see. Me, I have to get to the store for business. I wish I had my husband back. Yeah, okay. Anyways, there's some really friggin' nice items here. A jam and jelly, a booze sheet, a life shroom, a defense plus badge, <laughs> and, as you can see this here, a friggin' wait for it.
Eh, screw you. I know what your dialogue is, and you can pretty much take it what's gonna happen. Yep. <coughs> oh, God, I actually did feel that coming there. I was expecting you think some lovely lady's gonna pop or something. Now I'm gonna hit you with King Curse. It's the cursiest curse ever. Well, if this isn't a pig, then I will take this. No, I actually like this ability a lot. Hold down the R button to go into slim mode, and you can turn into a, uh, Paper Soup, which is a really freaking useful ability, believe it or not. You're actually a lot, you actually go a lot faster than regular with this ability, so, this is a good ability to have. Trust me on that. Yoshi's still probably just as fast, but I'll show it off here, I guess. I s that interrupted me for a freaking email. And I meant to actually store my some of my items here. I'm just gonna store my uh, jam and jelly and my other thing here. Oh, I can't do that. So, crap! I should have probably left the life stream where it was. Uh, let's just hope I don't end up dying here. I can't even check the stat menu when I'm on Yoshi. That's kind of pathetic. Anyways, I'll cut back up to where that tree was that I was at earlier. Okay, now we basically use the tube to get through this here, and over here we have some hay. Which means we have to use frickin' boob again. <clears throat> oh my god, that's just... I, why was Flurry even in this game? And I'm gonna bring Coops back in, I guess. I don't know, I've been kinda debating. I like. I still really like Coops a lot, but I think Yoshi's been doing a bit better than Coops has been lately, so I think I'm gonna keep Yoshi out, actually. I still do like hoops better though. And here we have a new enemy, uh, Crazy Daisies. Um, these guys were in uh, chapter 6 of the original Paper Mario game, and they're now in uh, as early as this chapter here, so. These guys. What? I did. Way to glitch up, you stupid game. No, you son of a gun. Son of a. you. What did I say to you, you stupid crazy daisy? What did I say to you? Power rounds! 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. Also, like in the first, unlike in the first Paper Mario game, randomly in battles here against crazy daisies, you can actually find amazing daisies as well. Amazing daisies have 20 HP, they run away a lot, if they actually attack you, they do 20 hit points worth of damage. So, you need something really good to hit them with. I'm gonna use one of my... Hold on. I'm gonna use one of my regular mushrooms here. Just because I can. Because I do kind of want an earthquake at this point. There's a lot of items that and I wish I could store at this point, but I can't. Uh, there's a badge block here, which is Hammer Throw, which is a badge we got in the prologue of the game in the first game. And we have a lot of new enemies here, uh, I guess, technically, so, um... I'll try to gulp and see if this... What the? How did that not work there? Seriously. I was able to go into my tube form earlier, so I get my R button does work. Yeah, like that there. Anyways, here, um, we actually need boobs again. <clears throat> Blow that stupid thing away. And I think we need her coming up in a moment, too, so... I'm gonna keep her out here, because I believe we do need her in a second. To blow this away. And... I can do this properly. Spin jump properly, Mario. Uh, you can push this over in the background, which pushes it over in the foreground for some reason. And get ready to walk these trails a lot. Trust me, you'll see what I mean later on. But anyways, over here, 
We arrive at Creepy Steeple, which I think I might cover in the next part, believe it or not. Um, I know it was kind of a short segment. Chapter 4 is actually legitly pretty short, so... <coughs> um, I don't expect this LP, this uh, chapter to be taken more than 4 parts. So I'll see you guys next time for Creepy Steeple.